When our next bout takes place in the lightweight division between Nordin Benmo and Kyle Todd. Well, the man fighting out of the black corner, representing the United Kingdom, 25 years old, stands in at 178 centimeters tall, five feet, two inches, 10 inches, making his pro debut, winning glory. Kyle Todd! His opponent in the white corner representing Morocco, 33 years old, stands in at 180 centimeters tall, five feet, 10 inches, 97 fights on this record, 88 victories, 90 defeats, 45 of his winning fights by way of a knockout. His third fight winning glory, ladies and gentlemen, not in Ben Mo! When this fight in the lightweight division is scheduled three rounds of three minutes, referee is Mr. Daniel Sharifi. My comments all the time. No questions. That's the last of you want. Step back. Lightweight action here at Glory Rivals. Kyle Todd making his Glory debut, looking for a big victory with the black gloves. Norton Benbo with the white gloves. He needs a win too, Joseph. He comes in. He's 0-2 in Glory. Yeah, he first made his debut at back at Glory 2 against Andy Risty, and then back again at Glory 80 against Garrett Boulay. So he's really looking to kind of get some momentum here in the Glory. Benmo, Todd for a minute, and Todd comes back with some low kicks. Orthodox kickboxer is Benmo, very technical, watches liver and knee strikes. He's taken out a few guys with those. For Kyle Todd, I believe he has to match the pace and the output of Ben Mo. Ben Mo's going to be very active, look for good counter combinations. I want to see how Todd can kind of keep that pace, keep pressing forward, because if he keeps moving backwards, that's what Ben Mo's going to just keep getting the momentum. Absolutely. Ben Mo is a technical guy, but he's also very aggressive. He likes to create opportunities and then go for the finish. Yeah, there is a nice left hook to the body, which he's known for, mixing in those uppercuts. Just missed with that uppercut. Wicked intention, so now Todd fires back. There's the liver shot. That one just missed the target. Ben Mo loves, he loves to attack the liver, just like Boss Rootin used to do back in the day. Though, it's impressive that Todd's still firing back. That's the key for him. He's not letting Ben Mo. See, throwing those body kicks, countering right back. Beautiful. Seems very calm. High kick, and then Todd gets a shot on the break. But Kyle Todd, so far, the bright lights of glory not getting to him. Well, he's staying pretty strong. He's sitting in the pocket. He's following back. He looks comfortable in there. Doesn't look too bad. He's ripping the body back as well. Todd, the more active fighter, but Ben Mo, the more accurate. Check out the total strikes. Morning, five seconds to go in the opening round. Glory, lightweight foul. Ben Mo, white gloves, and Kyle Todd with the black. Nice combination for Ben Mo with that right uppercut back to As time winds down here in the opening. We're the end of the first round. Kyle Todd, lightweight division. These two come out firing. Good body shots landed from Todd. Yeah, he's doing that shoe shine combination. He's kind of going left, right to the body. He just needs to kind of follow upstairs and maybe his kicks out there as well. 
kick from Ben Moe to the rib cage. Al Todd loves to stand in that pocket and fire away. The main thing with the scoring is it's the damage. So what's doing more damage? Right now it seems like Ben Moe's kicks and his, his liver shots, the uppercuts. And even though Todd's kind of firing back, you've got to keep an eye on what you think is doing more damage. Beautiful stat there is Ben Moe landing 79 body shots. And as you said, Joseph, I think doing the more damage. Yeah. Both kicks landing, you can see kind of Todd kind of a little bit heavy on the legs, but he was sitting on those punches, he's not scared. Ben Moe right now landing 59% of his strikes. Todd's still pressing forward, still taking the shots and keep walking. That one stumbled him. Approach the halfway point of the second round, scheduled for three. Todd's playing in Ben Moe's fight. Hey, this is what Ben Moe wants. That's exactly right. Great point. Here's Todd just sitting there. And he's still eating the shots. I think he's still eating more than he's giving, but he's still coming back. He wear Ben Moe out. Ben Moe. Eight years in Elton to Kyle Todd. See how the gas tank holds up as we're 100 minutes to go in the second round. And so far, I've been very impressed, Joseph, with Kyle Todd. Came in as a bit of an unknown, didn't know much about him, making his point debut, and he's hanging with the veteran. And right now, it looks like it's his right low kick that's landed very well. He'll come forward, press with the hands, and then he just chops away with his right low kick. They oh, not intelligent and mocking as he did in that first round. Back to the body for Ben Moe. That's where he has done some damage. Mr. KO coming into this one with 45 career knockouts on his resume. Well, looks like Ben Moe's maybe slowing now and Todd coming back. 100% agree with you. Not throwing it. Well, the end of the second round. Early on. And as you see him go back to the corner. He looks a little gassed. Yeah, he looks tired. I mean, maybe the beginning of that second round you give to Ben Moe, but as the round started going, Todd started picking up. The Glory Rival Series concludes 2022 on Christmas Day. It's a Christmas miracle. The Glory makes its first return to Japan since 2013 for Glory Rivals for December 25th of Tokyo, Japan. Glory's top fan the to battle as current champion Petch takes on Kosei Yamada and number one ring Zachariah Zugari goes up against Kento Haraguchi. Those in the Netherlands can catch all the action on Video Land for listings outside of the Netherlands. One second out for the third and final round of this fight. Underway in the third and final round. Kyle Todd with the black gloves, Jordan Ben Moe, white gloves, Ben Moe, 63 more professional fights than Todd, but Todd hanging in there with him tonight. Yep, he's showing a real scrappy fight. Not deciding not to take a step backwards and keep firing back. And like we said, at the end of that second round, he started gaining momentum. And that's a great step there, Todd landing more and throwing more. Definitely the more active fighter in that second round. Yep, still pushing, still pressing, putting things together. Where you see Ben Moe now just relying more on an overhand right, one big shot rather than that uppercut left hook combination he was landing well. Kicking a little bit less. Todd throwing 162 punches, landing 30, Ben Moe hitting on 38 of the 85 he's thrown. I mean, anyone's fight at this point, 
Joseph, what's your take? Who do you have winning right now? Well, I still think Ben Moe slightly. I still gave him that second round based on the earlier work he did, but you can give easily top the second round. Right. It can be one apiece. I wouldn't say it's clearly one way at this point, but to be safe, I would. if I'm Ben Moe, I'm saying it's one round apiece. For Todd, regardless, you gotta win the round. Absolutely. Edmo been the more accurate striker, landing 53% of his shots. There's only 32 from Todd, but Todd has thrown almost double the output that Ben Mo has. Yeah, and Todd's using a jab ball too, right? He's blocking, so maybe a lot of the strike count comes from those jabs. He's got to make some power shots behind him. 50 seconds to go in the third and final round. Glad you could be a part of Glory Rivals 3 tonight from Amsterdam. This head kick from Ben Moe just missed its target. And now he's going back to the body. It seemed like he forgot about it for a while. He's back at it. Absolutely, that one got through the guard of Todd. This is what you want. You want to end with a big flurry. Yep. Found a little bit of a second win here. Smart veteran fighter. Yep. Knows when to turn it on. Well, at the end of the Bell. third round, the end of this fight. Bell sounds. Ben Moe back to his corner. But an impressive debut for Kyle Todd. Maybe not leaving the glory ring victorious, but maybe a, a moral victory. We're going to get the official decision when we come back. Amsterdam and a impressive performance by Kyle Todd making his debut, but it was really Norton Ben Mo Joseph that was uh, very accurate and very busy. Yeah, Ben Mo came in great with that level of changes with that left hook to the body, finding the uppercut, mixing the knees, which he's really known for. But Kyle Todd did a good job, especially in the second round, continuing to stay in the pocket. When you fight someone like Ben Mo, you either got to sit in the pocket and fire back or move. He decided to sit back kind of counter right back whatever Ben Moe threw, he kind of countered right back. And the closer second round in this third round, they both had moments. Maybe in the beginning, Todd kind of found his combination, his volume. But near the end, Ben Moe started to pick things up a little bit, started digging back to the body, using good angle changes here, and really trying to sit on that overhand right. Veteran move by the veteran fighter in Norton Ben Moe really turned it on at the end and maybe the judges will remember that as we check out the final stats joseph i mean jumping off the page is really just how many shots kyle todd threw a lot of it as you pointed out were the jabs but uh ben mo much more accurate when we're looking by round the biggest difference round will probably be that second round where we kind of see todd pick it up especially near the end of that round but a lot of great strikes both volume action fighters, and it's a pretty good fight overall. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of three minutes, we have a winner by unanimous decision in favor of the man in the white corner, not in Ben Mo! Norden, congratulations. I've known Norden in a very long time and he's never, ever in a dull one. You know what though, Norden, let me tell you something about Kyle. He's grown up watching you, you're an idol of his. And there's a saying, isn't there, until you, you know, your idols become your rivals. So tonight, it, 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 fighting all the young kids, the new kids on the block, how did you feel after that victory? Uh, first of all, alhamdulillah, I want to thank the audience that came to support us. I want to thank uh, the all around the world, thank you, Alamo. And uh, I want to thank my coach, my manager, thank you, my teammate from ESFIT, from my elite team, thank you all. And uh, about the five years, uh, he's gone. He's a good fighter, he has a lot of talent. 
and uh, about me, it was a hard fight, and I'm looking uh, forward for the next one. You're mixing with a lot of young killers, aren't you? In Team Elite, I know they're full of absolute monsters, and you, and you know you're in your twilight of your career, let's be honest. How does it, how's it, what's it like to, to mix it with these kids? It's a pleasure to train with them. There are a lot of talents. It will be all our champions, inshallah. Okay, thank you, Nordin. Congratulations.